This is Zach Myers. The date is March 18th, 2010, and we are in the Barrow Media Center. Please say your name and tell me when you attended or worked at Barrow. My name is Rue Walker, and I started the Barrow School in 1929, because back then you could start when you were five if your birthday was before Christmas. And my birthday was in November, so I started first grade when I was five years old in 1929. What was a typical school day like? Well, I guess our parents brought us to school, and we rode to school, but we walked home. But we would come to school, and we would come in, and we would sit at our desk. And the teacher would start our day with us pledging allegiance to the flag. And then she would usually read us a Bible story or we would have some scripture, which you can't do now. But we did that and we learned. And we would, we sat at our get desk. We didn't run around like y'all do now. <laughs> we sat in our desk and our teachers, we would just have the different courses. We just had one teacher for the first grade, second grade. And at that time, we just, uh, when I was here, I think we just had five grades. And then later, I think they had six. I don't think you have six now, do you? You just have five grades? But anyway, and we would just study. And then at Rissell, uh, we didn't have a lunchroom. And uh, a dairy used to bring in a crate of little milk and you could get chocolate milk or plain milk and they'd give you a cracker and you'd sit at your desk and have your cracker and then we'd have recess and we had projects and we did pretty much what you did but we were more disciplined and structured i guess i would say <laughs> all right what did you enjoy about school i, I just I always loved school and i loved uh, being with my friends and learning and just everybody was supposed to go to school and learn and that's what we did and we enjoyed it Do you know what students did for fun at recess? Well, we didn't have all the things we We had swings and I, I just remember that we just got out and ran and played and talked and swung and probably played tag and the Fellas probably were playing marbles, and I don't remember too much. Uh, I mean, we didn't have all the equipment that you have, or, or we weren't organized. We just went out to get exercise and fresh air and play. All right. Well, what are your favorite memories or stories of Barrow? Well, some lots of memories. I can remember when uh, I had my tonsils out in the second grade and my mother could bring me something special to eat, you know, some grapes or something. I, I don't know why I remember that. But then I remember at Christmas, we would have Christmas pageants. We just, the school, it wasn't as big as it was now. It just had the original five or six rooms on each side of the rotunda. And at Christmas, we would always have a Christmas pageant. And I remember that the three wise men always dressed up in their daddy's bathrobe. <laughs> and I can see them wandering down the hall now, and we were always <laughs> laughing about it. But anyway, I do remember the Christmas pageants. And then I brought a picture of one time when we had a, a pageant of some kind. I really don't remember what it was, but I brought you a picture to show that we, there were steps out there and all, everybody was all dressed up in costume. And I was a reader, but anyway, that. And then also we used to have May Day. On May the 1st, we had a Maypole and I remember my mother had to make me a costume and I was a pansy. <laughs> and I can remember also dressing up and doing the minuet and doing dances and just made that was a special day. What were your favorite Barrow traditions other than those? Can you sing the song? I can still sing the song. I love to go to Barrow School. Can you sing it? Mm -hmm. Well, what were the traditions? Well, at that time, it was such a new school. Actually, you see it. What year did it start? I'm not sure. 20? 20, 1923, maybe? 23 or something like that and see I, it was just six years old when I started the school here 
<laughs> so I don't remember what you might call traditions. I just remember that in the school we just always loved our teachers and, and we had the same teachers pretty much. We didn't have art and music. I mean, we had art and music, uh, art and songs, but it was the same teacher that would do everything, you know. Okay. And um, I, I don't know how to answer that because I don't remember. Well, the May Day and the Christmas pageant, those were traditions, so. But not many were started that early. Well, what, what is your tradition? What do you think of as a tradition? The book fair, maybe. Well, let's see, we didn't have anything like that. We hardly had a library. We just had a very small library. What historical events happened when you were at Brown? I can remember the tornado in Gainesville that, you know, practically tore up the town. And, of course, in the world, I mean, in the thing, there was the depression but we didn't know, we were little, and we didn't know that was, that we, we didn't know we didn't have any money. We were just all happy going to school, and um, it was after the First World War and before the Second World War, so we weren't aware, and we did not have television. We only had a radio, and we didn't have any computers, and we didn't have all the media things that you have, so... We weren't really that aware, and even for the newspapers and things, they didn't have the computers and things they have now, so we weren't that aware of things that went on in the world. Our, world, our little world was right here in Athens, Georgia. How has your time at Barrow influenced your life? Well, do you know that yesterday I had lunch with three others, the four of us started Barra in the first grade and we went all through high school together and we graduated from high school and we're 85 and 86 and still having lunch <laughs> but um, just the friend, what'd you ask me now, how did what was that question hmm? has it influenced my life well just the making of friends and the foundation of education learning to read and write and all of those things. See, we didn't learn cursive writing, and as I say, we didn't have all these things that y'all have. So it was just an influence of going to school. Can you remember what your first day was like? Not really. Mm -mm. I don't remember. We just, I'm sure our mothers just brought us to school and said goodbye. <laughs> And we said bye. No, I don't. It wasn't traumatic. I mean, it probably was more traumatic for my mother than it was for us. I had an older sister and brother, and they had been to school over here. So, of course, I had been to the school and seen it, and I just knew where I was coming. So we didn't have the trauma of a new school and a new town or anything like that. Can you remember what your last day was like? My last day at school? No. Did you do anything I, special? Or? No, I really can't. I mean, it was probably it's just a happy day because we didn't have to go to school the next day. <laughs> and we were heading toward um, Child Street School, which was then they called it Junior High. They didn't call it Middle School. It was called Junior High. So when we finished here, we were going to a big school farther away. We walked home from school. Yeah, okay. Well, you do walk. Your daddy and you walk, but you don't walk by yourself. We walked by ourselves. We walked. We, I'm trying to think. We, I don't, we did not have patrolmen like y'all have, but we did have a policeman that came to help us across the street. Was there an after-school program? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Never heard of anything like that. Not back then. This was the dark ages. <laughs> So, who was the principal when you were here? Mrs. Flanagan. I can name you all my teachers. Miss Massey taught me the first grade, Miss Marion Bloomfield the second, Miss Thelma Elliott the third, Miss Sarah Bird the fourth, and Miss Julia Cook, who was Miss Julia Brackett, and she, I mean, she married, and she just died last month at age 101, but she was my fifth grade teacher. That's a good ripe life. 
Yeah, and Miss Lena Bird was my sixth grade teacher. Um, who was your favorite one? Oh my goodness, I liked them all. I, I, I can't say I had a favorite. They I like they were all kind and good and fun and they helped us to learn. And we just respected them and liked them. I didn't have a mean teacher, so to speak. I don't think we had any. Were there any special classes or activities that you would go to? We didn't have like you have. Um, well, what are some of your special? Well, no, we had no special classes. We just stayed in the same room all day. I think that we did could go to the library from time to time. And I think maybe when I was in the sixth grade, they did start having some soup for lunch or something, but we have no cafeteria like you have now. We had no media center like you have now. We just uh, we just came to school and learned. Could you tell me more about when you would eat at lunch up in your room every time with no cafeteria? Well, we didn't really eat lunch. I mean, it was just milk and crackers to so that you wouldn't be too hungry before you got home. We would go home and eat our meal after we got home oh. at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. See, we would stay at school till 2, and then we'd go home, and our mother would have our lunch for us there. We didn't have lunch at school. Um, I don't think we had lunch at school. I never did have lunch at school. I think right after we left high school in the 40s, they started the lunch program, but we didn't have lunch. Um, can you describe the school building as you remember it? Mm -hmm. Sure. The door that's locked now, <laughs> I tried to come in. It was only, uh, you know, the sort of the round part, what I would call the rotunda? It's still called that. Okay. <clears throat> and it went out on each side with about five rooms on each side, five or six rooms. See, we'd have two first grades or two second grades or whatever. And then uh, going outside from the rotunda was, I'll show you this picture, were a lot of steps. And the, we didn't have any of the additions that you have now. There, how many halls were there? Just those two. I mean, that well, it was just one long hall. I mean, it, yeah. you came in, and then you walked down the hall, and there was the rotunda, and then you walked down the other hall. And in the rotunda, you went out to the steps to the outside. Are there any more stories or memories that you have that you'd like to share? Well, I brought something to show you. I, no, no, I brought a ruler I can remember. And I brought it to show you because I've kept it all this time. The Coca-Cola company used to give us rulers every first thing, and they would say, a good rule. Now, what is that rule? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Isn't that a good rule? And say on the back it has the Coca-Cola. And then the Coca-Cola, We, as I say, we didn't have all the things y'all have. And uh, now what did I do with it? Here, that look at this size of this pencil. Now, of course, it's been down, but look at the circumference. And can you read down that pencil? Coca-Cola in bottles. Yeah, they gave us pencils, and we were too happy to get them. That's a pretty old pencil, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's from a long time ago. Yeah, so I brought that to show you. And then I brought this picture to show you about the pageant that we... This is a high school annual, but somebody saved the picture from Barra School. That's where I went to high school. It was down on Prince. Here, this is the steps out of the rotunda that I was telling you about. And see how all the people are dressed up in different things. We've got gladiators and Henry the so-and-so, and, -so and I, I'm looking at it upside down. And there I am. I, I was the reader. I don't know what I read. <laughs> I don't remember what the pageant was. It looks um, a lot different than now. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot different. But there is the door, and there's a brick. And I don't guess you still have those steps, do you? Probably not. But anyway, that that's on the steps of Barra School.
And that we would have been about in the fourth of maybe fifth, fourth or fifth grade. You see all the costumes they have, mm -hmm. the people, and so many of the classmates that we remember. And like I say, four of us had lunch together yesterday. How about that? Is there anything else that you'd like to tell me about your time at Burrow? I can't think of anything unless you want to ask me something. It was just a learning time, and, a, and, a, and it was a happy memory. And we just didn't, we certainly didn't have the things that y'all have now, but we learned. But probably when I left here in the sixth grade, I would say that probably you and the, or people in third grade probably knew more, you know, we, yeah. you've learned so much more and you have access to so much more. But we just had a good time at school. It was Barra School gave you a good education and it's still doing it. It sounds like it was always a good time and there wasn't much negative. No, so I don't, not in my life, no. I know. I did have one friend that said didn't want to come to school, but that was just because she didn't want to leave her mother. <laughs> Can you? But no, we were all happy and we didn't have, uh, we were just all together and we didn't feel like we were all, there were no cliques, so to speak, you know, just everybody came to school and enjoyed school and had a good time at right. school. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else you want to know? Nope. Okay. Thanks for coming. Okay. <laughs>